So let's look at one provision, indemni indemnification provision that's typically negotiated by the operator when um, um, negotiating an, um, uh, an MSA. And this is going to be the pass-through indemnity. And this is really important for many operators since they're only going to be in privity of contract with the general contractor. But they understand that there are going to be other parties, particularly those that are subcontracted by the uh, general contractor, that are, that are going to be performing work on site. And they want to make sure that they are protected with regards to these parties just like they are with the general contractor. So oftentimes you'll see a pass-through indemnity that's negotiated with those parties that the operator is not uh, in privity of contract with. <clears throat> now as a um, practicing attorney, oil and gas attorney, what you want to um, keep in mind here is that when courts are uh, construing these types of pass-through provisions, that impose flow-through indemnities uh, from upper tier, that's going to be the general contractor, down to the lower, lower tier subcontractor, they want to see specific language in those subcontracted agreements that, in, that indicates just what it is that the subcontractors are agreeing to indemnify for. G a general reference to the in indemnity, indemnity obligation between the contractor and the, op uh, and the operator is not going to be sufficient in order to bind the lower tier subcontractor.